Welcome to our lecture example. Speedy Limited manufactures tires and is located in South Africa. Speedy Limited is listed on the JSE. Speedy Limited acquired a 100% interest in Top Speed Limited on 1 January 2021. On this date, Speedy Limited obtained control of Top Speed Limited as per the definition of control. You have been asked by the financial director of Speedy Limited to prepare a consolidated statement of cash flows using the direct method for presentation in the group's annual financial statements. The following relates to the Speedy Limited group. Look at this. This is already a set of group statements, right? We have our consolidated statement of financial position as at 31 December 2021. They provide us with the 20.21 and 20.20 details. And this is in millions, right? I'm not going to go into too much detail. I want to identify that there is an investment in associates account, financial assets at fair value through profit or loss. We have inventory to trade and other receivables, cash and cash equivalents, share capital, retained earnings. Just a note, remember, if we need to determine the dividends declared, because we need to disclose the dividends paid, the cash portion, we will have to reconcile our retained earnings account. We have our non-controlling interest in terms of the sub for purchase. However, this is 100%, guys, look at this, 100%, therefore wholly owned, no NCR, right, then non-current liabilities, a long-term borrowings account, and deferred tax, remember, when we need to determine our tax payable, we need to first reconcile our deferred tax account to be able to calculate the tax payable, which should be included on the face of our cash flow statement. We have short-term borrowings, including current portion of long-term borrowings. Look at this, guys. Therefore, we are able to identify that there is long-term borrowings. The current portion is included in our short-term borrowings line item. Then there is a shareholders for dividends, important to be able to identify dividends declared and paid right now let's have a look at the next page consolidate statement of profit and loss 2021 this should also be in millions we have revenue cost of sales gross profit other income other expenses share of profit of associates we have our profit before tax income tax expense which we reconcile to our tax payable account profit for the year other comprehensive income zero profit attributable to the owners of the parent and to our non-controlling interest therefore if you had to reconcile your retained earnings account you will transfer the profit now additional information the, uh, the following items are included in the profit before tax amount other expenses, profit on disposal of property, plant and equipment sold. Now, we will have to take this out. Why? Because we need to disclose the proceeds, the cash received on the face of our cash flow statement. The dividends received from other investments, again, we need to take this out. Why? Because we need to disclose the dividends received on the face of our cash flow statement. Fair value gain on financial assets at fair value through profit or loss. We need to take this out. Why? Because this is non-cash. Allowance for credit losses written off. We need to take this out. Why? Because this is non-cash. Depreciation. We need to take this out. Why? Because this is non-cash. Right. And we need to transfer this to our T account, finance costs, total interest received, included in finance costs reflected in profit or loss. We need to take this out. Why? Because we need to disclose this on the face of our cash flow statement. Share of profit of associates, attributable profit from associate companies. They indicate to us that their share of profit, the 360 million and excess 77,000. Now, they do not, 77,000, therefore they do not have to indicate to you guys the split. In terms of the information provided, you should also be able to calculate this. 
right let me just correct myself it's 360,000 and 77,000 then assume that there are no other fair value adjustments apart from this fair value gain therefore if we look at those guys the star should have been included there right next the proceeds from the disposal of property, plant, and equipment amounted to 890100 Therefore, we are able to determine what is the carrying amount, which we need to include in our T account. During the current year, it is estimated that 16.2 million of the plant acquisitions are investments in future operations, the remaining balance being plant replacements. Why is this important to us? because we will have to indicate on the face that the purchases of PPE, the total purchases relates to future operations and to plant replacements. This is a requirement in terms of IS7. Three, during the current financial year 20.21, Speedy Limited acquired an additional interest in an associate at an excess of 77,000, which we were able to identify in our profit and loss note. Dividends of 235400 were received from the investment and associate. Therefore, the dividends you need to know will decrease in our T account. If you had to include a T account acquisition on the debit side, remember, and the dividends will decrease our investment. Number four, no financial assets were sold during the current year. Therefore, we are able to identify when we reconcile if there is a movement, most probably acquisitions. Trade receivables include the following amounts. Amounts accrued for interest receivable. And then note six, the current portion of long-term borrowings included in short-term borrowings. Look at this, the current portion, which are included in the short-term borrowings. Remember, they've indicated to us, when we look at the statement of financial position, they've indicated to us that there is a current portion included in these amounts. Now they provide us with a current portion. The current portion of long-term borrowings included in the short-term borrowings was 770400 and 147010. Apart from the current portion payable, an additional 10 million of the long-term borrowings were repaid. This is important. Think about this. Debit your borrowings account and credit your bank. This will have an effect on our cash flow. We will have to determine the total repayment for the year. Then trade payables include the following amounts, accrued interest expense, provision for guarantees, and provision for bonuses. Then during the year, the company acquired Top Speed Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary, for a cash amount of 10076000. Now, remember the face of your cash flow statement, the acquisition of the subsidiary, but we need to include the net cash amount. Very important. Therefore, remember, when you think about subsidiaries, you need to identify that we will consolidate. Therefore, the cash amount included, yeah, the 905000, this will be included in our cash balance because we consolidate. Therefore, if we need to calculate the net amount, we need to take this out from the 10 million. Right, so we're able to identify property, plant and equipment, financial asset, inventory, trade receivables, cash, trade payables, taxation payable, short-term borrowings. Remember, we will have to include this in our T accounts because we consolidate. When we buy a subsidiary, remember, parent plus the subsidiaries, assets, liabilities, income and expenses. And when you look at this immediately, the total of the assets agreed to the total acquisition price. Therefore, there is no goodwill. But you should be able to calculate goodwill if there is any or an excess. Nine, dividends declared by Speedy Limited during the year amounted to 10515000. This will have an effect on our shareholders for dividends account. Right. 
additional information apart from the movement that are clearly evident from the information above. No disposals or acquisition of investments took place during the year. Cash flow from interest and dividends received and paid are classified as operating activities. Guys, extremely important. I do get questions. Why do we include the interest and dividends received and paid as part of operating activities? Your scenario will normally tell you this. Okay. Assume a tax rate of 28% and capital gain tax inclusion rate of 80. Ignore dividend tax and value added tax. None of the companies in the group are share traders for income tax purposes. Right. Required. Prepare the consolidated statement of cash flows of Speedy Limited Group for the year in the 31 December 2021 using the direct method. They tell you this. Remember, you should also be able to do this based on the indirect method in your part B of your IFRS textbooks is a copy of the templates. Number two, prepare the acquisition of the subsidiary note to the consolidated statement of cash flows of the Speedy Limited Group for the year end of 31 December 2021. Guys, this is your easy marks in a test. If you receive a note, you need to smile. You open your page immediately, you draft down your template, and you transfer the details. Please note, comparative figures are not required. Round off all amounts to the nearest rand, and your answer must comply with IFRS. As always, think, plan. What is your plan of action? Have a proper exam technique approach.